and this is why we glad I learned the laws of cause and effect, or what the Hindu call, the Hindu and Buddhist call karma, or what the Bible says, you reap what you sow. When learning this, you learn that you are, are just not nothing. And you learn that you are accountable for what you do. And you learn that every cause has an effect. So you learn that stuff is not just happening to you. The things that you're doing, your actions, your thoughts, your words is helping you. That is helping you cause the effect that you do not want. And I'm going into a little bit about computers and how the stimulation and evolution theory goes with that. But it goes with that to make to go against the law of cause and effect to make you think that you're nothing and help you lose all hope. That's why in schools they teach the dumbass Darwin theory. He was just some dude on some Galapagos island. And he wrote a bunch of dumb bullshit ass theories about men coming from apes. Which has never been proven. The missing link has never been found. And it's just stupid. And it's the same thing that they're doing now with a lot of physicists and stuff. They're having these little meetings and they're saying that we could be in the assimilation of assimilation of assimilation. And these are highly educated people playing with people who come to these TED Talks or meetings. Asking them questions instead of telling them the truth that says a possibility we could be in assimilation. That's assimilation. That's assimilation. And what we have to say is all this stuff is poppycock. We didn't come from apes. And we're not in no video game that's in a video game that's in a video game. Because plus if that's true, your um the computers were designed from the brain. You know what I'm saying? So, how could the computer be something that the brain is not when the computer is based on the brain? Our body computer operate just like a technology a technology computer. We get sick from a virus just like a computer gets sick from a virus. Like the human body computer, you can program it and reprogram it. Just like with an electronic computer, you can program it and reprogram it. And the computer and technology, and this is another video I'm getting into, was made to replace melanin. For the use for them to be able to do stuff that our melanin used to could do, they use technology to do. Like we used to be able to tele telecommunicate. They use telephones. We used to be able to tap in, uh, be able to see in the night. They used night vision. All of that stuff that they use technology for is something that we could activate in our melanin to use. And this, these theories are wild. When you tell somebody that they come from apes or they're in a computer world, these theories are mind farts. And it tells the subconscious that you're nothing. And the subconscious is the thing that run this cosmic computer we call the human body. So when you tell, so when your um, subconscious and body hears that you're nothing, it's more easily quicker to lose morals and to lose your mind. So if you believe you're nothing, you're going to be operating as nothing from that standpoint, which is a total lie. Since the times of Rome, they have been trying to get human beings to deny the soul. They don't have faith in the soul. Your higher self is connection with God. And when your higher, and you, your higher self has connection with the most high that makes every human being feel good and secure because it's the truth so once you realize you are a spiritual being having a human experience you can begin to really live and not just survive the law of cause and effect show us 
we are accountable for our actions and or lack of actions. The cause and effect the cause and effect is not going to get it's not going to get us what we want if we don't change the cause. If you don't change the cause, you're not going to get the effect you want. Once you become the main player of your reality and not just the victim or observer, you once you become that of your reality and you watch what you say do. And when you watch what you say, do, hold up, and stuff, because you know, you're going to, I'm going to have a mind part. You're going to start to watch what you say, do, and think, because you know that every action is real energy, and every action has a vibration. Every thought, every word, every action has a vibration, and you affect the whole cosmos. So you would act more responsibility if you knew the true universal law of cause and effect.